Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we didn't see justice for these children. Thank you, Jesus. They've been convicted. Yes, yes. Glory, 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 Jesus. There were still many signs of grief today, and then signs of relief and also tears of joy, as New Yorkers received word that the monster mom had been found guilty on four counts of first-degree murder. The jurors deliberated for only an hour today, and they delivered the- I was thinking in the holding room, ladies. Uh, will you honor the unofficial? No, not here, you can go home. On everything I love, I hate people because they're the fucking worst. I'm so sorry. Move. I mean, I can't take it, just how dumb and lazy most people are. Well, the water. Um, I need to pay cash on the coffee. I didn't have enough for a water. You have a debit card, sweetie? Well, I don't have a debit card. Do you have a debit card, sweetie? Well, I don't have a debit card. Do you have a debit card, sweetie? Do you have a debit card, sweetie? Do you have a debit card, sweetie? It's so awful, it's entertaining. It's so ugly, it's beautiful. Good morning. Do you know how many dancers per group? 20. Do you know what they're seeing on Union today? No. No, they're not, or no, you no. no. And it's my belief that when we aren't in tune with reality, when we aren't accepting of what's real, of the truth, of the ugly, of our whole selves, that life loses all light, loses all purpose, loses all meaning, loses all beauty. For without acknowledging truth, recognizing that ugly exists, is inherent in all. Without establishing that, there's no way to determine beauty to prove beauty exists. Beauty is in comparison to ugly. For there to be beauty, there must be ugly. It's a fact. It's ugly. It's beautiful. She's in the presence. What? There are a lot of girls out there. So, so we, we have, have to... Tonight. They're all union? Yes. Bring them in in groups of 20. Brilliant. What? Nothing. And so therefore, we must not make believe, I cannot make believe that all is equal, that all is good, that there is no ugly, no worse, no difference. Things must be relative to something else. Alan. In order for good to exist, there must be bad. To recognize happiness, you must experience sad. Go set up Studio D. But that session is not Clearly on the Clearly you need the extra time. Ready? Yes. Lady, follow me quickly. It's duality. It's beautiful. Go, 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 go. Before Johnson begins, I just wanted to thank you, divas, for coming out today. Thank you. Okay. Johnson. Breathe, ladies. <laughs> Breathe. This has a very jazzy, sexy feel. We need length, stretch, and technique. It's very sensual. Think sassy. Okay, let's begin. We have one, two, back, three, four, flip left, right, left, and right. Again, we have out, back, step, flip left, we are blessed with certain gifts, that we are cursed with certain misgivings, that we cannot aspire to be more than we inherently are, that we don't all know that, that we should. Step pose. Okay? And yeah, you give a little snack there. Give a little head. Okay. Very fresh ginger, but very sexy and sensual. Can you get some more? tragedy. It's an epiphany. It's transcendent. It's ugly. It's beautiful. Pussy with a tiger tamer. Baby said I was your nigga leaving you. I put your figure quitting you. Was not considered drowning in you. Feeling for you. Burn myself to be there for you. Spent my money. Cannot afford you. Commit a murder. You didn't know it's what dream you're dipping if you wasn't in it. Sweet and sexy supple serpent. Overheard your sexy moment with your serpent. Shit to burn it. Kept it in your great deceiver. Didn't need but would believe you. I was open to wide receiver. I put your page up. You told me the fuck off. Said you want no part of. How is this about love? The luxury was all mine, cause Robin Hood was so fine I pulled that trigger, killed that nigga Oh, no Sitting in my own world, thought I was the perfect, 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 perfect Sitting in my 
Hi guys, thank you so much for coming. So in five minutes we're gonna start. Um, I'm gonna call all your names and you're gonna line up Take over you to the here. Table. Thank you. But thank you. Okay, and I have Kylie Taylor, Kimmy, you Kimmy, and Kat Davis. All right. You three, 16 bars strict, 16. It will cut you off by the door, please. Thank you. Everybody else, thank you. Thank you, Kimmy. 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 What will you be singing for us today, hon? Uh, mean to me. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of new to singing. Oh, you're new. <laughs> how new? Uh, like, I don't know how to answer that. Like, new new? You'll be fine, sweetie. You'll be fine. You shouldn't be scared, sweetie. That was lovely. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> thank you. No, oh, thank you, Kylie. So pretty. So pretty. Shut up. Fuck you. Thank you, Kylie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Caleb, you can tell them that uh, we're done for the day. Thank you. All right, ladies, ladies, you, wonderful. Everybody else, thank you. Do you know when they'll be making calls? No, you shouldn't worry about it. Hey, 
Please stop acting like that. Stop acting like that. You're such a fucking faggot, I swear. You're a faggot, stop. You should go home. We're not gonna see any non union today. Plus, we don't want any Negroes to cut us off. I'm only half Negro. They don't want you either, Packy. Shut up. Did you make the copies of those scripts I asked you about yesterday? Uh, no, the machine is down. So. People are waiting on these scripts, Caleb. They have to be delivered. Okay, I can have an intern go and or do you it. you can go. Thoughts? Bitch. Oh, bitch. You should go home. We're having appointments pretty soon. I'll get you one, okay? But can you get me in today? No, I will get you an appointment when we set them up. And stop flirting with these boys. You look desperate. Doesn't he look desperate? You look desperate. Pitiful. Hey. Uh, that's my brother. Yeah. He, he's my brother. Yeah, I'm a good one. What do you do? I'm sorry that today was a bit messy, but I... A bit messy? But I literally got there and I don't I care! Okay, nobody cares. You are the apprentice. I made you the apprentice from an intern for a reason, okay? Apprentices have answers. Interns have excuses. But and I mean... Got it? Ain't no one. It's not just about today, okay? You were gone for those two weeks. You're all messy and moody and shit now. I mean, buck up, bitch. Everybody got time for that. My mother died. And when she died, I went home as late as I could and came back the next day from California in the hospital. I wanted to be committed. I'm so committed. I'm not really even getting paid, really. Oh! You're not getting paid? <laughs> I'm, that's not Oh, I guess $50 a day is just too much for some bitches. I guess, huh? I guess some bitches are real grandiose. Please right? don't call me See, a bitch. I feel different. I feel like $50 a day is much too much for a bitch who can't remember to bring water for a fucking casting session. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire I'm life. Sorry. I swear, I'm... you know what? I don't think we'll be in your $50 services ever again. You're dismissed. Caleb, don't. Good day. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Maybe could you take me please? What about When I was a boy, I peed the bed at night. Other two things would happen. Sometimes I knew immediately. I would suddenly feel a warm, wet sensation on my leg. And then I knew I was dreaming. I would open my eyes and try to quietly and quickly hide my sheets before my mother found out. My stepmother found out. If she found out, she would no doubt berate my existence, my inability to function as a human being, to measure up to a civilized standard, that I was too smart to be so dumb, and worse, that I was nasty, dirty like swine wallowing in its own filth. I was filthy. And she would say those things, upset as she stripped my bed of the gold-tinted sheets, having me scrub the mattress with a concoction of vinegar, soap, and hot water, trying to dilute the stain, clear my piss, my brother Elliot quietly laughing from his bed, and though hurt and embarrassed, I wouldn't cry. I was just enraged, mad, angry, not at my mom, but at myself for being less than. Still other times, in the other scenario, when I pissed myself, I, I wouldn't know. I would wake up the next day, cold liquid, causing my pajamas to stick to my body. And only then would I realize what had happened. And then my mom still yelled, I'd still clean, 
Elliot still laughed. The only difference is that I still dreamed. I finished my dream. It was not cut off abruptly by an unpleasant reality. And who knows if the dream was happy or sad or scary, but it at least happened. And that happening would forever be a moment of peace, even wallowing in piss, laying, sleeping in filth. Oh, really, Tracy? You really think I'm the fucking problem here? Really? I am not the fucking problem. It's your problem. I am done with you. In myself, I know you to be an eater of dust. Leave me here. And lower it year by year, as you promised, till the last be an oblate. And my name inscribed on the four winds. Still, still I win. I have been a woman, and loved as a woman loves, and lost as a woman loses. I have born a son. He will Scotland and England. One thing after another. I mean, when I hired you, you were great. You were right here, you were paying attention, you were doing what I needed you to do, and I don't know where the hell you are now. I talk to you, I ask you to do stuff, and you're just not, you're not present anymore, and it's driving me nuts, okay? So I'm boring you? Of course not, I'm sorry. The bottom line is, when I or Ricardo or another casting director ask you to do something, we expect you to do it specifically. If we wanted an intern or an apprentice to do it, we would have asked them. You're an associate for a reason. We give you associate level work to do. Appreciate that. We could certainly give it to somebody else. I'm sorry, today was not It's not just it. today. Anthony and Pierre told me you were having the intern set up the appointments. It was once and I watched. Come on. Confirm yes, set no, you know that. Of course, I'm sorry. I like you, but I'm not gonna. I know. Good. Now, since Nikki didn't work out, I recommend that we move Alan up to the apprentice position, yes? Sure, he's great. Excellent. Can you... <laughs> Kim Kelly? <laughs> yes. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, how would you like to be the next casting apprentice at Kim Kelly Casting? What about Nikki? Again, how would you like to be the next casting apprentice here at Kim Kelly Casting? Yes. Good. Confirm these new appointments for tomorrow. Confirm new appointments? You mean set them? Tomato, tomorrow. Hi, can I get some iceberg lettuce and cheese and bacon? Apples, um, mandarin oranges, grapes. Chicken, beans, turkey, bacon. No, uh, never mind. Don't don't put the cheese and bacon. Sunflower seeds, feta, not blue cheese, feta, feta. Cheddar and ranch dressing, please. Extra ranch. Chicken and croutons, thank you. Croutons um, and balsamic vinaigrette, thanks. Hi, could I just get um, some romaine with salmon and vinegar? Thanks. I love her, love her. Easy hater. I don't care, I don't care if Halle Berry has a fucking Oscar. If you're not right, you're not right, and she is not right. <laughs> just shut up. Don't nobody care about your casting thoughts on an imaginary movie, loser. Don't nobody care. You shut up or speak English. <laughs> I was speaking English. <laughs> well, speak it properly. I can properly tell you to suck my dick. Oh, wait, isn't that what Anthony told you? No. You guys... <laughs> it was that little secret, right? 
You're such a fucking bitch. I can't believe you told him that. Oh yeah, everything. Cum shots, how big, how small, the work. Fucks you. About how you cried because you didn't get into film school, about how you needed someone to make you feel good. This is not savory lunch conversation, okay? I agree. So can we not pretend cast the movie as some crazy bitch who killed her kids this morning? That shit's insensitive. We were just having fun, Caleb. Well, no. And the next time you tell Kim about what I'm doing with the interns, I'll tell both your boyfriends about what slut bucket bitches they're dating, okay? Five million people use the New York City subway on a daily basis. Five million people all traveling to do something, be something, get something, give something, love something, kill something, buy something, steal something, all these people. So many people going places every day. So many people not going places every day. So many just trying to sleep, to eat, to beg, to cheat, to rest, to see, to survive every day. So many people, all these people, five million a day. And we all collide, our disparate journeys, our unique motives, our wantings and longings. We're all on the same train. We're all breathing the same air, sitting in the same seats, bumping into, annoying, using, avoiding, dealing with each other. We all share this, all these people, five million people, some friends, some families, some enemies, most strangers. But yet and still we're connected. It's ironic, it's crazy, it's maddening, it's stupid, it's crazy, it's beautiful. You see the one over there? Caleb. 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 Oh my God, what? What? Over there? Where is you it? See over there? Everything's over there. Oh, over there? No point, you tacky man. You see you? The one in the blue shirt. Hobo, hobo. Elliot, you lost some of that baby. Oh. Why she gonna put these fat bucks? I mean, really? Have to self respect. Hey, some people have a preference. I like a little extra meat on my man. Clearly. Hey, stop. Stop. Stop for. Mm, stop. stop. For shit's sake, Caleb, stop. You're all over me. Calm down. Come on. Ebony and Neil, is there a problem? Oh, uh, no. Uh, we were just waiting to eat until you got here. I mean, we are in a bit of a food coma. <laughs> well, y'all look like I couldn't afford to miss a meal or two. <laughs> How rude. I'm just playing about joking and 
sorry about being late and everything. All right, my apologies. Sure. <laughs> oh, no worries, no worries. Why? Yes, please. Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay. I should not look like an asshole if I'm late. The next time I'm late, just go ahead and start without me. You dating for three years. It should not be this serious. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm just So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you have to tell me, you two are <laughs> brothers? Yeah. Same parents? Uh, same father. Oh. <laughs> so who's older? That's rude. What? Uh, who do you think is? I'd say Caleb. <laughs> no tea, no shade. Mm -mm. All tea, all shade. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys both look good. Uh, he's a month older than I am. Well, we're basically twins. How is that? <laughs> oh. Let me stay out of grown folks' business. Exactly. So, uh, you guys all work with Nate in finance, <laughs> Wall Street, oh, everything, oh. all that? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I work with Neil and uh, Ebony over here. She's just Neil's fag hag. <laughs> That's rude. Real rude. <laughs> and Gus. Uh, he works for the New York Times. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you know, um, Caleb here, he's a writer. Mm. Mm. Oh. Dude, my baby is quite the writer. He's oh, applying okay. for grad school for it. Uh, mm. So, what do you do now? Close you your mouth when you're fucking chilling. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, he's a casting director. Assistant. You know, he, he used to be a really good actor, you know, with the agent and everything. Don't. You used yeah. to be. Don't be embarrassed. I'll brag for you. I guess I'm like being the topic of conversation, okay? I'm going to the little boy's room. Uh, I'll come with... Oh, excuse us. <laughs> you think Gus was cute? Nigga, why are you so basic? In a fonts, search my soul, my silent soul. In a lights, need the sound. So Nate, do you want to take that last piece of cake home or? Mm, oh no, uh, you can take it, uh, but thank you, I appreciate it. Oh child, it. please, I don't want that. Yes you do. I'll take, I'll take it. it. Uh, you want to it? <laughs> that would be nice, yeah. <laughs> so I've calculated, it's going to be about $75 per person, you know, with tax for the catering. That's okay with everyone, right? I'm sorry, Nate. I know it's your birthday and all, but I can't pay that. I mean, $75 is ridiculous, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Oh, I'm glad you said something. I mean, they have her low and I mean, I'm going to have fillets and shit. Uh-uh, I can't do that, no. Okay, okay, just um, everyone pay what you feel appropriate. Mm. Nate is a good one. <laughs> I know. Caleb, don't act this way, Caleb. Caleb, do better than this. Oh, are you, Nate? What? Are you better than this? Yes, I am. And so are you. Okay, Nate. Well, if, if you're so much better, and I'm not better, then why are you here, Nate? I just know that if I could just love you long enough, if I could love you hard enough, you'll be better. I don't want to be fixed. You just don't... Did you take your medication? Don't call me. 
I'm not fucking chasing you anymore! Don't. into a bar. He goes to the bartender and says, damn, there's some hot motherfuckers in this place tonight. The bartender laughs, pours him a drink, says, are you kidding? The man swigs the drink, says, yeah, motherfucker, that's a hot one over there and a hot one over there and that motherfucker is hot as a dynamite. Oh yeah, there's some hot motherfuckers in this place tonight. Damn. The bartender laughs, says, buddy, you bugging. The man swigs says, how so, my man? How so? Bartender says we just opened. The only people in here are me and you. The man swigs, says, really? Bartender, yeah. And there's an uncomfortable, sad silence. So sad, so silent. The man says, I'm blind, embarrassed. Bartender pauses, pours him another drink, says, then how did you get here? The man swigs his drink. He walks out the bar. The bartender laughs. Now you hurt me, you little fucking bitch. You fire her? Huh? Huh? You fire her? Baby, huh? Baby, you you pick on girls like a little bitch? Huh? Pick on me, you fucking bitch! Pick on me, bitch! As jury selection begins in the Monster Mom trial that has rocked the city like no other crime in recent history, new details emerge from the accused's social networking pages that have many asking, could this tragedy have been avoided? Were there signs that could have prevented this mother's massacre? Caleb, uh, Nate's here. How you feeling, baby? Nate? Yeah, I'm here. Get out. Caleb. Get out. Caleb, come on. Get I'm out. trying. Get out! Oh. All right. So she was singing this song, and she had to stop. And she was like, is somebody singing with me? And we looked, and <laughs> it was so embarrassing because the accompanist was humming along. I mean, it was so ridiculous. And Kim had to ask him to leave after lunch. I mean, look, nice. So anyway, Kim had to ask him to leave after lunch. And I mean, who does he think he is? Does he think he's a singer in a fucking duplex or something? Like, it's not your time to shine, piano man. So anyway, unfortunately, I had to be the one to find a freaking piano player after that. Get her out of Caleb, here. I didn't come for this today. Then you know you I'm still recovering leave, from- Stephanie. You should go. Why does he say stuff like that? All right, all right. Why do you want to hurt me? All right, everyone just calm down. Shut Relax. up, you packy fuck. You see this, Mom? You see how he gets- Get out and leave. I don't want you here. Get the fuck out. Don't talk to your baby brother like that. Baby brother? 
taken all this time to take care of you every day. He's given up a lot for you. What, his, his flourishing career? Oh, fucking please. He has. What, what about me? What about all that I've given up? Do we, should we discuss that? Should oh, we go through that? Yeah, we go. We oh, don't discuss my you must. super mother bitch. I'm your mother. Don't you dare. Don't you dare speak to you me like that. You killed my mother, you bitch. I you took care of bitch. you like you were my own child. You were my child. You I'm are no my child. I'm no part of you, you terrorist devil. I did everything. Be mad at your real mother. She left you. She killed herself. Be mad at her. You're a home wrecking slut. And you always will be. Nothing can clean you up. Disgust me. Yep. The slut that your father wanted. Be mad at him, not me. Nothing can clean <gasps> you up! You're a slut. You're a fucking no. slut! You're no. a slut!
You good? You okay? Um, listen, um, I got to run off. I have to go to an audition, okay? I'll talk to you later. Casting. Um, I don't think she's here right now. Kayla! Um, would you hold on one Kayla, second? can you schedule these 15 minutes each for tomorrow? Start at 2. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Hi, Caleb. I'm sorry, just running. You get it, right? Why is Nikki here? We were busy and needed extra help. I'm sorry, do you have a problem with my staffing practice? Well, she was responsible for my attack. You know she wasn't. I don't have time for this, Caleb. And Alice wanting sessions now? Your tone is not satisfactory, Caleb. I'm sorry, you're right. Listen, I don't care. Kick him out of the room. Tell him to make calls. I don't care what you do. You have the authority. Just do it right. Trace is on the line for you. Kim Kelly. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, Caleb fucking Dwayne! I heard you were in casting now. I am. Dude, how's Elliot? He's fine. Ah, oh, man. The fucking Dwayne Brothers, fuck me! Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen you guys since graduation, wow! Yeah. So do you wanna, um, go oh, and do your- was it your accident? Huh? Hey, you, your face, is that why you stopped acting? Yeah, you got it. Oh, man. I mean, I mean, you, you look great, but, but what happened? Shit. Uh, shit, yeah, man. That's why I moved back from L.A. Shit sucks. Yeah. So how about we oh, we're, we're finished. Um, why don't you call up Elliot and then we'll all go. We're gonna have to go audition now. Okay? We'll leave. I'm working here. I'm just trying to catch up, old friend. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No. I'll just go. Go. You seem so sad now, Caleb, you know? I mean, our class, everyone I, I bump into these days, it's, everyone's so fucking sad. Soon I will be done with the troubles of this world. Troubles of this world. Troubles of this world. No, she was she was great. She's just not she was just not right for that part. Is he Tech of New York or Tech of LA? Excuse me. No and I must tell you, we can't do our work any faster. Hold on one. We've been wailing no more. She just doesn't understand that. We've been wailing no more. Yes, yes. We left you. Of course we We've been and wailing. I'm going home. To live with 
But that was good, right? You could tell I was nervous, right? Caleb? Caleb? Caleb! Oh my god, what? How'd I do? Huh? At the audition, how'd I do? I don't know. But I was auditioning for you. I wasn't paying attention. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. You fucking retard. I don't know. Well, that was inappropriate. talking. You mad at me? Hmm? You mad at me? You mad at your big brother, huh? Stop, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> so we still going to the club later or are you gonna be a bitch about it? Fuck. I'm sorry I can't. I'm gonna audition tomorrow, so. On a Saturday? Well, you know, I gotta do what I can until you can work your magic. Talk to you later? Yeah. react tonight the first day of cross-examination in the monster mom case shelly lee has the story shelly sharon it was a day of heartache and tears that led to many more questions than there were answers as the defense tried desperately to present excuses for what many new yorkers say they find inexcusable today was a full day in court as the monster mom looked on despondent, very exhausted the prosecution went hard today My soul has been awaiting, anticipating joy truly ever flowing, peace beyond my knowing. I've been waiting. Caleb, don't, brother. all right? Relax. Really? You had an audition Relax, Caleb. on a Saturday. You had an audition, all right, to go to? Caleb, good, Caleb. Shut, Shut up. up. You lied for a piece of baby dick right here, for right. real? Okay. Really? Oh, hey, suck my cunt, Nate. You told me he had a baby dick. We I didn't even know he had a baby dick, dick. okay? Why did I tell you? Because I am a good person. Unlike you, you liar, you're no. fucking liar. No, you fucking liar. You're not a good fucking liar. You're not a good you are fucking liar. Right. You're you're fucking not liar. Good you are a dumb Caleb. 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 fucking you're not. You're liar. Ugly. Wait, All right, you're, you're ugly. ugly. Look at you. You're so ugly. I mean, look at what you've become. I can't even be around you. You're so ugly. You yep, got it, Elia. I'm ugly. Yes. I'm everything you said and more. You know what? But at least, baby brother, at least I'm something, Elliot. At least I'm something you. You are no one. I feel sorry for you. Oh, oh, I feel so don't feel sorry, sorry for, for you, boo. I feel sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for you me. You actually yeah. think that you are working with something. You actually think that you have some talent? Really, you've been in the game for almost a decade now, and you have no receipts, OK? No credits whatsoever. You know what, Nate? Okay, no, no, no. His mom made me give up going to writing school so that I can go to the conservatory with him because they would not take his sorry ass unless I came too. Because they knew he was nothing. I gave up everything, all my dreams, for nothing. For no one, hell. They knew he was nothing. Hell, I knew he was nothing. Your mama knew you was nothing, OK? And I feel so bad. Day in and day out, come into my office, ask me for an appointment, as if I would actually give you an appointment, as if you are nothing. As if you were an embarrassment, you're nothing. 
You are no one. You know what? You are no one. You've always been a you great writer. You are no one. All right, and look what you've done with that, right? At least I'm doing me. Something. At least I'm doing yes, me, all you, right? Boo. And I'm do something. Nothing, I know that I'm yeah, something. Yeah, I keep telling yourself you that. You're not even yeah, writing. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Stop, stop. Keep telling yourself that. Right? Right? You're nothing. You're nothing. You're ugly. Fuck you. 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 You're ugly.
And all I could think is that she was there every night for weeks, sleeping in that one bedroom apartment next to decomposing angels, just living in that smell, that stink. Every day living with that stink. And then I call the police. No further questions, Your Honor. You got to tell No. Don't be going to no. now to Shelley Lee, who's bringing us the latest developments from outside the courthouse. Shelley? There were still many signs of grief today, and then signs of relief and also tears of joy, as New Yorkers received word that the monster mom had been found guilty on four counts of first-degree murder. The jurors deliberated for only an hour today. This mimosa is good. Specialty. Yeah. I see they let you keep that suit from court. Yeah, I guess it was the least they could do since you're still walking the streets and I'm still living on them. Yeah, I guess. I never hated you because of everything. I thought I should. But I didn't. Not one bit. It was like I was... Like I was relieved, you know? Like I was actually relieved. I couldn't take care of her, right? I mean, I loved her, but I... I hated her. Because when I saw her, I saw everything that was good and bad about me. 
who I was. I saw it all there at the same time. Everything that was wrong, everything that I did wrong. It was all there in her. So when she when she left me, I feel so much better. So much better. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I already hated myself. <laughs> I hate myself even more. So I guess I'm like that monster mom on TV, right? You think, you think I'm a monster, don't you? Look, I have an audition tomorrow, okay? So.
from the moment you pop out your mama's vajayjay, you're constantly going, constantly moving. You're headed somewhere. You don't know where. You don't even always know that you're in motion, but you're moving. You're moving. You're growing. You don't even know it. And you end up places, many different places, for many different reasons. Some good and some bad. Some places you get to on purpose, you want it to be there. Some places you end up by mistake. You took the wrong turn. You took bad advice, but everywhere you're at, you're supposed to be there. For whatever reason, you're supposed to be there. Yeah. What do you want, Caleb? I wanted to give you this. I saw you put out a breakdown. You don't work for me anymore, Caleb. I know, and I shouldn't, and you're right, and I'm wrong, but just take this. Please. Thank you. And wherever we're at at the moment, wherever we're supposed to be at, it always takes us a moment to think and reassess and figure out why, why are we there? Kayla? Hello, oh, lad. How are you? Fine. I'll need four veggie burgers, no cheese wrapped in lettuce, toppings on the side. And we leave where we're at somehow, anyhow. And we stay in motion. We don't stop and we choose to steer ourselves to more places, different places. And we get there. It may take a few minutes. It may take many years where we get to where we're supposed to be. The route may not be clear, the journey may suck, but we get there. And that journey, our trip, our many trips to get to where we need to be, where we should be, it's our life, our lives. It's everything we are, everything we want to be, everything we will be, everything we were. It's a mess. It's never ending. It's crazy. It's incoherent. It's stupid. It's maddening. It's awful. It's wonderful. It's a tragedy. It's an epiphany. It's transcendent. It's ugly. It's everything. It's everything. It's all I know. It's all I write. It's what I write. It's how I feel. I write how I feel. I write what I know, and it's beautiful. Finish my story. Come on, come to bed. No, um, I have an audition and then I have to go to work. Suit yourself. <sighs> you should come too. <sighs> you didn't move to the city to be a super. No. all over New York, and particularly here in this neighborhood where the monster mom lived with her four children who are all now dead by her hands. We're here today looking for reactions from everyone. Excuse me, any reactions to the monster mom sentencing? Any, any comment? What about your fiance, Elliot? How does he feel about the sentencing, having been the one to discover the girls? Does he have any sense of relief? Any comment from Elliot? Cut it. 
Okay, may I please have Jack McKnight, Bill Anthony, and Spencer Wong line up for 16 bars. Everyone else, thank you so much. Just sleep, little one. Just sleep, little one. Just sleep. Finishing is hard. I don't know what you're talking about. Why won't you let me see? <laughs> I'll let you see when I'm finished. Uh, how long will that be? Uh, I'm in no rush. Uh, 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 uh you're so silly. You're silly. You promise I can I promise see. you can see, little girl. My name is not no little girl. It's Janice. I promise you can see Janice. I'm going to write and be an actor and be like you when I grow up and do movies and be pretty like Halle Berry and marry me a white man like my grandma says so my babies can have pretty eyes and pretty hair. Your babies will be cute just like you're cute no matter who you marry, okay? And you don't want to be like me. Halle Berry maybe, but not me. Yes, I do. You silly. Janice! Come and get these groceries, girl. I hope she's not bothering you. No, she's my little writing buddy. Yeah, I'm his writing buddy. Come on, girl, get in this house. Come on, y'all. Just sleep, little one. Just Closing. 